Kaiser Chiefs Football Club, commonly referred to as Chiefs, is a South African premier soccer league football team with its home base in Naturina, Johannesburg South. The team goes by the names Amakosi and Fafini Glamour Boys, which are Zulu terms for Lords or Chiefs, respectively. Chiefs have won approximately 50 club trophies and 13 league championships, including four during the PSL era. They are the most successful team in South African football history since the top flight began in 1970 and have the most titles out of all clubs in the country. With the highest league average home attendance of 16,144 in the 2019-20 season, they are the most popular team in the nation. The squad's home games are held at the 94,797-seat FNB Stadium. The team and fellow Suido team Orlando Pirates, with which Chiefs founder Kaiser Motong initially played, had a fierce local rivalry. Former national team captains Neil Tovey and Lucas Radivi, as well as Patrick Nsolingo, Kerry Bailey, John Shoes Mashu, Sean Bartlett, Steve Kamfella, Saeed Abonganambate, and Dr. Kumalo are just a few notable players who have worn the black and gold shirt in the past. Following their hasty exit from the 2005 CAF Confederation Cup, the Kaiser Chiefs were given a 2009 African Football CFF club competition ban. Chiefs have received a penalty from KF twice in the previous four years for declining to take part in a competition. It is the team in sub-Saharan Africa with the most support. Over 16 million people supported Kaiser Chiefs at the turn of the century. There are currently thought to be 40 million fans in Southern Africa, with the majority of them in South Africa and its neighbors. Kaiser Chiefs, a British indie rock slash Britpop band, was named after the club because Lucas Radiv, a former player of Kaiser Chiefs, captained Leeds United, the side that the band members all supported. In January 2020, the club will celebrate its 5th anniversary. So before going deeper into the video, make sure to subscribe to our channel. History 1. Parva and 22, 2000-2003 Nick Hodgson, Nick Baines, and Simon Ricks met in the same class at Street Mary's Catholic High School in Menston, West Yorkshire, when they were about 11 years old. Ricks and Baines moved for college in 1996 after finishing high school, but Hodgson stayed behind and met both Ricky Wilson and Andrew White. The name of the band Runston Parva, a purposeful misrating of the name of a tiny village in East Yorkshire called Ruston Parva, was created by Hogson, White, and Wilson. When Ricks and Baines returned from their studies, Runston Parva had reformed as Parva after failing to land a record deal. Two Employment, 2004-2005 While still mostly unknown outside of the UK in July 2004, Kaiser Chiefs gave their first festival performance abroad at a festival in Moscow. The band's participation in the NME Awards Tour at the start of the year was one of the key elements in their breakthrough in 2005. Their role as the opening act proved to be a significant one, garnering a lot of favorable media attention, just like it did for Coldplay and Franz Ferdinand before them. 3. Yours Truly, Angry Mob, 2006-2007 Yours Truly, Angry Mob, the second album from Kaiser Chiefs, was released in February 2007. At Hook and Recording Studios in Oxfordshire, England, the band worked on the album in September and October of that same year. The ensemble recorded approximately 22 songs, drawing inspiration from American rock music and Led Zeppelin. Yours Truly, Angry Mob debuted at the top of the UK Albums chart and the Billboard 200 Albums chart, respectively. 4. Off With Their Heads, 2008-2009 to The band officially announced the title of their third album, Off With Their Heads, on August 4, 2008. It became available on October 20, 2008. On October 6, 2008, the debut single, Never Miss a Beat, was made available. The band also made a DVD of their live performance from May 24 at Elland Road, where they played to a 40,000-person limit crowd. 5. The Future Is Medieval 2010 to 2011. After a break, Kaiser Chiefs declared that they would return in the middle of 2011 with their fourth studio album. The album was created over the course of 18 months in a number of venues, including drummer Nick Hogson's home studio in East London. Along with Nick Hogson, the album was produced by Tony Visconti, Ethan Johns, and Owen Morris. So that's for today's video. I hope you like this video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for more videos. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.